do we want? Save ships. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Save ships. When do we want it? Now. P and O are as welcome as pirates in Dover. Workers and supporters marching in protest at the unlawful sacking of 800 seafarers, backed by a community defined by its port. Among those affected, Rachel and daughters Neve and Hope, whose father was fired after 20 years at sea. Devastating. It's not like soul destroying and worrying about paying your mortgage, feeding your children. The boat should be seized and taken away. Well, I'm telling the truth. In Larne, that's exactly what's happened. The European Causeway deemed unfit to sail and detained by safety inspectors because of failures in training new crew to replace the 45 staff sacked 10 days ago. Sous chef John joined P&O straight from school, but won't risk going back on board now. And I don't think it's realistic at all to see them back in service anytime soon. And if they are back in service early next week, do you think they'll be safe? Well, I wouldn't travel on them. No way. No. No, I would not travel on them. Shame on you! They marched in Liverpool too, union leaders vowing to fight on. These are highly competent people. There are skilled engineers, there are navigators. This cannot be given to people who have never even seen these vessels, many of them. They've been brought over and are going into some of the busiest shipping lanes in the world uh, on a wing and a prayer, frankly, and that has got to be unacceptable. Safety is paramount, but the safest crew is the crew that they sacked. p and plan was to have its fleet, including three ships on the crucial Dover-Calais route back at sea by now, Instead, it's losing £1 million a day and safety certification will not be a walkover. It's a serious situation. Um, any ship, whether it's a passenger ship or a tanker or a cargo ship, being detained is probably a, a ship owner's worst nightmare. But it's there for a reason. You can imagine yourself that the size of a, one of these vessels is like a very large office block. So they do need a lot of um, getting used to and you can't expect a crew to go on board and suddenly just take over overnight. p and have been training 450 new staff who will be paid little more than £5 an hour here in Dover for the last week. And understand on Monday, the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency will conduct a safety inspection of the Pride of Kent. On Tuesday, it'll be the turn of the Pride of Canterbury. Should they fail, p and whole plan will be in trouble. p and says it will make changes to return the European Causeway to service but with its fleet tied up just two weeks before the Easter holidays and its reputation sinking, this entire enterprise may be in peril. Paul Kelsey, Sky News in Dover.